Welcome back everyone. There is some crazy stuff going on recently about Android, specifically revolved around the Pixel 6 release cycle. Now, as most of you know, the Google Pixel 6 is probably coming out within the next couple of months, sometime around that October timeframe. And the Pixel series of devices are seriously one of my favorite types of Android phones out there. They are beautiful, amazing devices, but there's something specifically for that Pixel series of device that's going to change the whole entire trajectory of Android updates. So we've been seeing with Samsung and some other manufacturers, they've been making some massive switches for their Android lifecycle. OnePlus has pr pretty much gone in the opposite way, making their software even worse than what it was before, which makes no sense. But Samsung has been increasing their longevity of their software, going from, I think, two years to three years of OS updates, and now four years of security updates, which is awesome. But now with Android 12, with the Pixel series of device, Google is set to actually change up their life cycle. So now instead of getting that, you know, standard years that it has now, it's going to be getting five years of full OS update. If this ends up being the case, now again, we don't know 100% fact, this has just been rumored around, but if this ends up being the case, there's going to be even less of a difference between iOS and Android. You know, with Android, obviously the Pixel series of devices has that bigger, you know, edge when it comes down to, you know, phones being supported. Keep this in mind, how many devices from, you know, 2012 or 2013 are still supported? The iPhone 5S technically is still supported by Apple. With the Google and the Pixel, I mean, you have a lot of third-party developers, which is amazing. But on stock support, even though the Pixel series of device is one of the longest supported Androids, it's still not even up to par with iOS. However, if it does end up being the case where Android now switches over to five full years of OS updates, that is going to be the one of the bigger changes of this specific software lifecycle they can do. This is going to be a massive change, and it's going to be something that I'm extremely extremely looking forward to. And now all Google has to do is make some, you know, hard embedded apps in the Google ecosystem that isn't necessarily on iOS. And maybe people will switch over to Android, you know, because this could be the bigger change. In my opinion, one of the massive changes with, you know, Google and Android is with some glitchiness in their software. I feel like sometimes a lot of things, you know, glitch out and stuff. Android 12 has actually been pretty decent in terms of a beta. Again, it's not perfect. But like I mentioned, if the next version of Android, you know, Android 12 with the Google Pixel 6 ends up being the you know catalyst of more future updates for the next series of pixel devices i mean that's going to be crazy and that is probably going to be the biggest selling point for the pixel 6 beyond the display beyond the cameras because a lot of phones already have you know what the pixel 6 is rumored to have if this phone is the first android phone with five full os updates on first release that is probably the biggest difference and the reason why people will probably start looking at more android phones specifically with the pixel series of device than maybe like iphones and stuff so take it as you will but that is one of the craziest things that i can see probably you know competing with iOS recently. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.